Hello, this is Burn, and if you're interested in finding out if a man is right for you, you're in luck because I'm going to show you how to figure that out without so much complication on our episode today. Hello, this is Burn. Welcome to your great life to come. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you today how to know if a man is right for you. And why am I happy? Because I see so much pain in the world in the way of women feeling anxious, worried, uncertain, unsure about if they're wasting their time with a guy or if the guy that they're with is right for them. So what I thought to myself today is, well, why don't I just share with you a six part framework that you can pass any man that you're in a relationship with or that you're thinking about or that is in your life that really wants something with you or you want something with through and get a clear, sharper understanding of how far off you are, at least from the way I say things. So the first one is pursuit. And I mentioned this first because you could have all the other ones, but if pursuit is not taking place, then I don't consider this viable in so many different ways. It means you're gonna have to do the work. You're gonna have to step up and call him, remind him, uh, just like you, you can't open at the level that you want to when you're the one doing it. So is he making it happen or not? If he's not making it happen, it doesn't mean that it's not gonna take place. It just means that you need to relax more and allow him to step up or not step up, but connect to one who will. Two, emotional affinity. Do your emotional intensities match? Is the way that you step into the world emotionally compatible with your partner? Now, key distinction here, I'm not asking you if your man is exactly like you, because you might want something that is different, more excited, less excited than you, but it has to match. I see so many women who find a guy who is on paper so great, but in terms of emotional intensity, it's not at the level that they feel comfortable, safe, and excited about. For example, he can't tell her how much he loves her. He can't hug her tightly. He can't express intensity in so many different ways, whether it's in bed or outside of bed. And then she starts feeling like she's missing out. She connects with someone at work that is so alive and she starts feeling there's, oh my God, I feel something here and that's not taking place at home. So there's no right or wrong in terms of how expressive your man is, but you need to know that the way he is today is the way he'll continue to show up <laughs> unless he does some magical change in himself, okay? Number three is shared values. This is super important as well because you can have emotional affinity, you can have pursuit, but if the way that you see the world and the vision of the how to make it happen is really far off, it's incompatible, right? And values I'm talking about, simple but grounding forces like loyalty, honesty, respect, hunger, you need to not just understand that this man has those values if those are important to you, but what does it really mean? Loyalty means something different to each person. Honesty means something different to each person. It shouldn't perhaps, but we're in this world where we have <laughs> almost 7 billion people and each person has a unique flavor. So you need to understand what's most important to you and is your partner in agreement or difference from what you consider most important, okay? Number four, chemistry. I mentioned this is number four because if you just lead with chemistry, then you can forget all the other ones. But if you have all the other ones and don't have chemistry, then it's a boring friendship. It's a roommate type relationship. And if you want more passion in your life, if you want more excitement, if you want to wake up with those butterflies in your stomach and you don't have that chemistry with your partner, it's going to become a challenge. Okay, so chemistry is important, but not to the detriment of the other ones. Number five, time. This factor, this vector in our equation here is so freaking important because the first four things can be understood and felt a certain way. But when you give the, the man some time to continue showing up, that will tell you if it's sustainable or unsustainable. Any idiot can show up and be really strong and tell you what you want to hear for a couple of weeks, for a month. Two months starts lowering, three months even less, four months. So th the more time you have to connect with this human being, the more you'll know if what he's showing up as initially is true or if it's unsustainable for him. Number six, and this is completely your own, that's intuition driven by experience. So what am I saying here? I'm saying that you will make mistakes 
and I want you to make mistakes. Why? Because when you make mistakes, you will learn certain things in your nervous system that you would have never learned from a book or from me telling you something or from any other human being telling you how it's done. When you make a mistake and it hurts you, you can. I'm not saying that most people do that necessarily, but you can use that as a great experience to take your life to the next level. And next time you have something very similar to it, remember what it means and use your intuition to drive yourself to something different. The reason why, for example, I have the blessing or the gift to connect with a woman and in a very short amount of time know what's going on inside her heart, why it's happening or what's really preventing her from creating this is because of experience. I've connected with enough women, thousands and thousands basically, where I, I know what certain resonances feel like and based on that, I can tell someone, here's what I feel is going on. How can I share this love advice with you? Not only have I learned from the success of my clients and the experiences of talking with a lot of women, but also I've made some very stupid mistakes in my life. I wish I could tell you that I haven't. I have. And those mistakes, those painful, heart-wrenching mistakes have allowed me to have a much sharper intuition as to what things feel like for me. So as you take all of this into account, I want you to know this is not a set of rules, but this is a set of principles that can allow you, if you are more uh, conscious about them, to make better decisions about men. If you find this is helpful, useful, insightful in any way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up show up that allows you to register for a webinar I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in nine days or less powerful blueprint and it's absolutely free thank you so much and as always i challenge you to lead a full and a conscious life